Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be out reviewing a Coverfest pinball on tap today. Uh, please look for our review under the description of our YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on our social media formats, Facebook, Arcade and Pinball Talk under groups, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? So first impressions of the table are, you know, looks pretty nice. I mean, it's got a very good theme going to it. Uh, obviously, the artwork on this thing is very, very nice and very complimentary to uh, the, the German uh, sound bites that you're hearing in the background. So first things first, just talk about table mechanics here. I mean, right off the bat, right off the bat, you have uh, you have two flippers, two in lanes, uh, two out lanes to the left and right. You have a little mini rail uh, going around. You have a ramp shot to the left of that, and also a lock underneath. You got a scoop coming up to the left side of the table. You also have a pretty hard shot in the middle ramp going up, as well as uh, a lock uh, with the beer meister. Uh, you have a drop target as well as a pop out to the back. You have some columns to the back right with some pop bumpers as well as a semi, I would say, orbit going up the right side with the spinner. So all in all, pretty nice with some targets in the middle. A lot of stuff going on on this machine. And there you go, the ball just went in there to pinball on top at that point and at that point you're allowed to kind of pick what beer you want so right now we're doing angler pale music is very complimentary as well it's got a nice little thump to it one thing i do like about this machine is you got uh obviously the paddle gap isn't too wide on it but uh you also have a uh a ball save at the at the base which is above the drain area so that, that'll help you kind of keep the ball in play a little bit more you know talking about ramps obviously you need to engage some of um, these items first in order to drop that ramp underneath the uh, keg and there we are we're lighting up that left area there so let's take it around there's the orbit I was telling you about so it is a complete orbit whenever the ramp is up. Third flipper at the top, top right middle. And uh, you know, that third flipper, you know, just being real, it, it is almost reminding me of the Star Trek warp shot. A lot of people talk about that shot. I personally love the warp shot on Star Trek. Uh, but you have that third that third flipper there and that ramp doesn't seem too bad It seems wide enough to hit you just need to hit it at, at the right spot in order to get it up there, but I will say I Will say that ramp is very high So you need a lot of speed a lot of ball speed to get up to that I'm loving the uh, I'm loving the theme of this thing I mean, it's got some thump to it. You know, you got the uh, the German accent in the background with the sound bites that they're doing, and they got some heavy metal kind of playing right now in the background. So the soundtrack is definitely going very well. I like it quite a bit. It's got a lot going to this game. You got a bunch of little scoops. You got all kinds of stuff going on. So I think they added a lot of things into this game that are things that people like off of prior games from Stern and, and other uh, competing companies. I will say it's a little hard to get up that left ramp, you know, the angle of the ball to get up there. We'll try to do this again. So that left ramp with the blue light right there, uh, you obviously have to have the, the ball come right almost off the second diamond on the right flipper. That's where you need to hit it whenever it's lit. Uh, the other thing is that flipper to the middle, you almost got to have it to where you're at the second bar into yellow in order to be able to get it up there. Uh, but fun factor on this machine is there. I mean, you know, it's obviously not a licensed thing and uh, it has been artfully put together. I think that it's actually very fun. It's a fun theme. It actually delivers there. So fun factor is going to be high on this machine. Ball speed is very high, as you just saw. 
I would nudge that ball, but that would move our camera view. There's the scoop. So that's inner tent. And then it says quack lighting up, which is obviously the target there. And you have quacks lighting up on two targets in the middle. And then a quack going back to the basically the, the pinball on tap where you got to shoot it into that, that lock area. So we hit that first. The first one, now the next quack is up to the top right. Replayability on this machine is gonna be there too. It, it seems pretty fun. I mean, you got a lot going on. You have a lot of things to shoot at. It is very tight in the middle of the machine. Thank God for that, that, that magic post there. Man, tell you what, that just saved me. But uh, yeah, the replayability on this is gonna be there. Just because you got a lot going on. You have some block, you have some targets to the middle right there. And there are more blocks for the back, which is where the columns are and the pop bumpers, which are some claw kind of shoe things, I think, from the looks of it, or even little cars that are glittery. Um, hit the scoop. Go around that orbit. I will say that that, that middle ramp shot Sort of like the Star Trek warp shot. That is a uh, that is a very hard shot to hit so far. There is a very high ball out mode on this. It just seems everything kind of transitions to the left of the table from the flow. Easy to hit that scoop there. So yeah, art on this machine, there. I mean, I think it's very well put together. You have your modes in the middle, which is duck hunt, target shooting, rock and express, sky slide, bumper cars, tap it, you know, ring toss. So, I mean, it's almost like carnival kind of setup uh, with, with beer, which I mean, you can't really go wrong there. Um, very well artfully put together. Target lighting is very nice. It lets you know exactly where you need to go. Beautiful game, being in all seriousness. I mean, American Pinball did a really good job on, on this game. I hear, you know, you hear things, oh, a little magnet in there too. So uh, something, uh, whenever you light up all the, the letters to the left, which is October uh, in green, uh, there's a magnet in that beer mug to the, the left right under the keg that's pouring into the beer. So when your ball goes over that, the magnet whips it around the lid of the beer. So that was, that was actually a pretty cool thing that I wasn't even aware of. That was pretty neat. I like that quite a bit. Think of it like Sparky and uh, Herman Munster on the Munsters with their magnetic kind of throwing the ball around, but with beer. I mean, can't go wrong there. Very nice, all in all. I mean, this game is, is delivering. I mean, it's definitely a unique theme. Uh, it, it delivers there, the art package, the sound package. Uh, the shots on this are actually good. The layout is good. It is very compressed in the middle, uh, but at the same time, you have a lot to shoot at. Targets around the rim, ramps to the left, scoops. You have a higher, uh, very high difficulty ramp, which would be very hard to pull off, uh, past that scoop to the middle. And, uh, and everything else. So you got the targets, you got the shots, you got the call outs, you have the sound bites, you have the art, you have the theme, and uh, the gameplay and the flow of the table seems to be there. So very good table, definitely check it out. We're at the local rec bar in Louisville, Kentucky today, uh, doing our review of this table. Again, uh, please look for our review underneath uh, our YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on all of our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that red subscribe button down below. You know you want to. Thank you again for your time today. We look forward to our next video with you guys.